Well, the long lines continue at COVID testing sites. Many people waited hours just to get swabbed. Keiko 9's Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live at a testing facility in Costa Mesa. Michelle, we've seen these testing facilities all over Los Angeles, Southern California. And the lines seem to get longer and longer, Chris. There is just about an hour left until it's closing time at the testing site behind me here. That is at the Orange County Fairgrounds. It is one of many, many places, as you indicated, where people are flocking to to get tested. The wait for COVID testing outside of Lake Forest City Hall was at least two hours this morning. The line snaked through the parking lot and wrapped around the front of the building. Was very surprised, um, but thought it would go quickly, but it went pretty slow. <laughs> Jane Byer had an appointment. She wants to be sure she's COVID free after having cold symptoms last week. I was going to have lunch with my elderly parents this week, and um, you know, I'm not sure if I had the flu last week, just mild symptoms, but I just wanted to make sure. And also I had a couple other um, gatherings and um, I just wanted to make sure I wouldn't expose anybody. As Omicron cases are soaring, so is the demand for testing. Well, we have a lot of cases at my work. Um, I work um, at retail, um, major retail brand, and um, I just want to be on the safe side. I um, don't have any symptoms, um, but I had the day off. I thought I might as well come in. Across the Southland, our chopper flew over several testing sites this morning and found cars filled with people waiting for their swabs. In Boyle Heights at White Memorial Hospital, a white tent was the staging area. Meanwhile, at Dodger Stadium, cars stacked up in a long line and a serpentine of cars wound around the top level of the parking structure at Kaiser Permanente in Baldwin Park, where more COVID testing was available. At lunchtime, for nearly a mile along the Palma Avenue in Anaheim, patients waited outside of this Kaiser facility to get to the drive through testing. And at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa, boxes of free home tests are being handed out. People can request to have them mailed to their homes. We want to make sure that people don't go to work sick, they don't go to school sick, school is starting back up. Dr. Margaret Bredehoff says supplies are low nationally for rapid tests, but if you plan ahead, PCR tests are available with results in one to two days. Nationally, there's a shortage, and if you need to have those instant results, then it, unfortunately it does come at a cost. And that cost can run as high as 150 to 200 dollars. Now, here's what you need to know: if you want one of those free at-home test kits mailed to you, where the results will come in within a day or two, this is specifically now for Orange County residents. You must live in this county, or you must work here. And again, you can go to the Orange County Healthcare Agency website for all of the details on that. Looking behind me here at this testing site, it is open. Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, so it's about to close, but will, of course, reopen tomorrow morning. That's the latest live outside of the Orange County Fairgrounds. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Unbelievable lines, Michelle. All right, thank you for that.